45 seconds left in the Super Bowl. Saints down by two. Defending team, Mina opposing. Quarterback hikes the ball. Marcus Davenport comes around the corner, grabs the quarterback, strip sacks him. Marcus Davenport has the ball in his hand. 32 seconds left. He's rolling down the field. Then he laterals the ball to Marshawn Lattimore. To Marshawn Lattimore. And Marshawn Lattimore heads for the goal. Then all of a sudden, the running back comes down and tackles Marshawn Lattimore. And then Marcus Davenport picks the ball back up, runs down the field, does a spin move, and then dives into the end zone. And the Saints are the Super Bowl champions. Baby. Of course, you know that's not really what happened in the dream. Let me tell you what actually happened in the dream. Okay, so now, um, hey, what's up, Prince the King? This is a story about, this is a dream I had about Marcus Davenport the night he got drafted. The night before the Saints, the NFL draft, I had a dream that the Saints picked. All I heard within a dream was, I don't know why I heard the Dallas Cowboys. I still don't know that. All I heard was, the Saints are gonna get. All, all I heard was Lamar Jackson's name. I'm certain of that. And then I also heard, a D, a name that started with a D, and it did look like Davenport, but it's a dream, so it was faded. I had never heard of Marcus Davenport in my life, but it started with a D, and then I also heard another name about a quantum physics teacher or something, or somebody who wrote a book about quantum physics. So as I'm watching the NFL draft, they hyping it up. They was like, the Saints are going to give up all these picks, two first round picks for Lamar Jackson. I'm like, yeah, I remember that. I heard that in the dream. I'm like, I saw it in the dream. about to get Lamar Jackson. I saw it in the dream. And then there was like, it's only out of two players. It's only out of two players, uh, Lamar Jackson and Marcus Davenport. I was like, holy crap. Are you serious? Oh my God, they about to get Davenport. Oh my God, wow. I had never even heard his name, but the fact that, and then it was at the 14th pick. I don't even remember what pick we drafted at, but they kept saying the Saints are gonna trade up to get a, to get a pick in his dream. And I was just like, they about to get Davenport. But I was so, they hyped it up so much to where I thought we were about to get Lamar Jackson and when I say my body froze, I was in a state of absolute shock. I had never heard this guy name before in my life, LaMarcus Davenport, ever. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh my God, it's about to happen. But then I was like, I still was on the Lamar Jackson hype. I was like, yeah, everybody get my Lamar Jackson. Everybody get Lamar Jackson. Oh my God. And then when they said, and with the first, and whatever pick, the Saints pick, Marcus Davenport. I was like, what? What? Are you serious? But now I see that maybe this is the missing piece. This is, I'm hoping that this guy is a special player. I mean, but for me to even dream about the scenario, a past few dreams, I've dreamed about Super Bowl chat. Maybe Marcus Davenport is the savior to the Saints. You know, maybe sometimes you have to make difficult decisions in tough situations. And that was a tough situation for the Saints and or the Saints fans who had no idea who some of them may have had no idea who this guy was. But sometimes you just got to let the team do their job and trust, trust the process, trust the process.